Okay, good morning everybody, and thanks so very much for um, stopping by to join us this morning. Um, I'm Linda Tice, and I am very pleased to announce the formation of Ohio Pro-Life Action, uh, which is a statewide organization dedicated to providing representation, leadership, and support to the pro-life movement in Ohio and to public officials and candidates who work courageously to protect innocent human life. Um, as you all know, the heartbeat bill was passed um, by a vote of 54-44 um, in the Ohio House on June the 28th um, with 53 co-sponsors, including Speaker Backshelder. Um, the bill is now in the hands of Senate President Tom Niehaus. The bill is only 17 votes away from becoming the most pro-life law in the state and indeed in the nation. In the course of our time working collaboratively on the Heartbeat Bill, it has become apparent that there's a real need for organized representation and leadership for those across the state who want to protect babies with beating hearts. And that's what we're doing today. It's for that reason that our first order of business for Ohio Pro-Life Action is to coordinate the effort among individuals, groups, and organizations to pass the Ohio Heartbeat Bill. Our second order of business, then, is to support the public officials and the candidates who work to assure the passage of that Ohio pro-life heartbeat bill. I will be introducing to you um, a television ad that will kick off our first media campaign, uh, but first, I'd like to take uh, some time to introduce you to some of the leadership team members um, who have stepped up to help create and serve as officers and board members of Ohio Pro-Life Action. Uh, Dr. Jack Wilkie, the father and the founder of the pro-life movement, uh, who is unable to be here with us today, will serve as one of our vice presidents. Uh, we are privileged to have Mr. Phil Burris as a vice president as well. Phil? Thank you, Linda. I'll be brief. Uh, Citizens for Community Values is excited to be a part of this team. I've never seen anything like this in the state of Ohio dealing with the life issue in, in the 28 years that CCB has been around. We are fully committed. I serve on the board of the Family Research Council Action, which is also committed, and the American Family Association, who is also committed to passing this bill. Uh, again, I am thrilled to be part of this. I have never, when I was called and asked to be a part of this and saw who was on the team, it was like being on waivers and being asked to join the World Series team. So this is it, and we're going to win, and we're going to save the lives of babies. Thank you. Okay, Barry Sheets will be serving as um, Secretary of Ohio Pro-Life Action. Thank you, Linda. And as Secretary, I wrote my comments down. <laughs> it's my pleasure to be involved with Ohio Pro-Life Action. For nearly 40 years, my generation, those who support the inalienable right to life as secured by our founders in our constitutional republic, have had hope deferred while seeking, seeing a parade of candidates and officials who play at the margins of ending the score to abortion in our state. Now, that hope is being renewed. As an organization coming, is coming onto the field which rejects compromise and the politics of postponement, which will stand for and support those courageous citizens who will not compromise on the bedrock principle of defending innocent life. The time is now for a higher pro-life action. Thank you. Um, we're also pleased to have join us um, as our, as our pro-life action um, treasurer, former state representative, Ed Cascutis. Thank you very much. Uh, I did not come with any prepared remarks. I, I'm honored to be with this great organization. And, and Barry, you hit on a concept that I had long forgot. I'm in this room for one reason to not play within the margins. I'm here to protect unborn life. I will count the money and we will spend the money wisely. And uh, once again, thank you very much. But our Million Mile March has started. Let's take step one. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, um, we also welcome Apollo Westwood who will serve as um, a board member of Ohio for Life Action. I'm Paula Westwood, and I'm Executive Director of Right to Life for Greater Cincinnati. It's the largest Right to Life chapter in the state, and it's an honor to be on the board of Ohio Pro-Life Action, just as it's an honor for me to be 
part of Right to Life. And I see those as two sides to a hinge that's going to close the door on abortion forever. The heartbeat bill I love because it's not a Republican bill, it's not a, a Democrat bill, conservative or liberal. It's a civil rights bill. The citizens want it. It deserves a vote. And we're asking the Senate to bring it to a vote quickly. I'd also like to introduce you to um, past State Representative Linda Reitelbach, who will um, be seated as a board member as well. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Linda Reitelbach. I'm a former state representative. We are this close to passing a landmark pro-life legislation. But as we all know, close only counts in the game of horseshoes or if you're throwing a grenade. That's why the time is now. With the pro-life majority in the legislature and a pro-life governor, the time is now. Will Ohio take the lead? Well, the Ohio House said yes. With the sponsorship of Representative Lynn Watchman, the heartbeat bill traveled successfully through the House. Then, under the leadership of House Speaker Bill Batchelder and Representative Jim Beakey, the majority of state representatives understood the significance of a beating heart, and they voted the right way. We are gr deeply grateful to each of them. So, will Ohio take the lead? Now it is up to the Ohio Senate. Thank you to the senators who have looked at the merits of the bill and choose to stand for life, and for those with a beating heart who cannot speak for themselves. I have spent time lobbying senators, and there are more than enough pro-life senators to pass this bill, but they need to be given the opportunity to do so. Those of us who have been working to get this bill passed, we understand the legislative process. The heartbeat bill has yet to be assigned to committee so that hearings can be held and the bills can be vetted in those hearings. Once it is passed out of committee, then it would go to the Senate floor for a vote. If this does not take place before the end of the current General Assembly, the bill dies. The same fate as over 26,000 unborn children every year in our state. Hence, the formation of Ohio Pro-Life Action supported by pro-family groups across the state. How can we stand by and ignore the daily destruction of so many human lives? We can't and we won't. Thank you. Nice job. Nice job. Um, I, I'd like to ask um, State Representative Beakey to come up and just say a few words. He was a stalwart supporter in the House, has been for years. We are so privileged that he is such a, such a strong supporter. Representative Beeky. Thank you, thank you, Linda. It's great to be on the, the podium with Champions of Life. And it's particularly uh, gratifying for me to see my former colleague Ed Cashview, because we served uh, many years together and, and, and fought on behalf of life the entire time we're here. I did not have the privilege of serving with former Representative Reitelbach, but I do know, obviously, from her past experience and, and work in the legislature, she's one of us. I first joined the House in 1983, and uh, since that time, one of my main missions in the legislature representing my district in West Central Ohio is to work hard every day to protect life. We have many, many people in this state who want to protect the sanctity of life and there is no question that House Bill 125 gets us one step further to protect the life of the unborn. And I'm here today to support House Bill 125 to help get that passed in the Senate and to support this group, this new group, and any other group in Ohio that fights for the unborn. We will prevail. It is my privilege to be here today to continue the fight that is right. 